So, a very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this series on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. We have discussed uh, noise, we have discussed signal spaces. So, naturally the next question is that uh, how do we transmit signals? So, in order to transmit signals, we have said that we want to and receive symbols from a discrete set the channel we want to send and receive symbols from a discrete set over the channel fine so we consider the simplest form of doing this we say that let these symbols come from the set A, let these symbols come from the set A and oh, this unintentionally looks like a smiley yeah. and let the symbol sent at the nth instant B A N let the symbol sent at the nth instant be a n or s n consists of scalar valued real valued scalar symbols plus minus 1 plus minus 3 plus minus 2L minus 1, where the length of the PA. So, these symbols can be represented XT equals summation SN cos C T u t minus n t n goes from minus infinity to infinity. We can say that the low pass equivalent we can say that that the low pass or you can say that x t equals summation s n cos 2 pi f c t u t minus n t t goes from minus infinity to infinity or 0 to infinity whichever t or 0 to infinity whichever you want and equal to the real part of summation n goes from minus infinity to infinity s n u t minus n t power j 2 pi f c t this or x tilde t or the low pass equivalent of x equals summation minus infinity to infinity s n this this is the low pass equivalent now letting psi t equal or psi n t equal u t minus n t we say that uh, psi n t forms um, an orthogonal basis and in order to make psi n t square equal to 1, we simply say that 1 over root t or psi n t, I say that this is 1 over root t, then I add a 1 over root t here. So, 
this becomes n goes from minus infinity to infinity sn psi n t minus n t or psi n t fine. So, consequently I can represent t a sequence of entries from A applied by psi and t and add it multiplied by psi and t and add it fine equivalently so y t equals s n psi n t plus w t equals summation infinity s n t plus w n psi n t infinity to infinity equals summation n goes from minus infinity to infinity s n plus w n psi n t this beast or the symbol received at the nth instant can be seen as y n equals if I say that y n is also represented exactly in terms of the signal space s n plus w n where s n is in a n s n is in a is plus minus 1 plus minus 3 and so on plus minus 2 and minus 1 this long beast. So, now the question is what do we do with this? We have this. So, the first thing is let me say that S n is 1 or minus 1, 1 minus 3, 3, 2 L minus 1, minus 2 L plus 1, this piece. S n can take these values. So, since there is just 1, each y n there is just one basis function s n and y n can be represented as one dimensional vectors Represented as one dimensional vectors, fine. So, this is the representation of S n, and naturally, there will be additive by Gaussian noise to this. So, how do, will y n look like? So, what does y n look like? That remains a question. But before we answer this question, we have to consider another form of modulation phase shift king. So, we have seen pulse amplitude modulation. Let us now consider phase shift king. In phase shift king, y t still takes the general form s t plus w t and s t real part of s n is in a n and a n is the set j 0 to e to the power j pi by this is the general form of p s k can naturally write Thank you. 
Sn nt and psi t is again yn equals Sn plus Wn naturally where both uh, Sn and Wn are now complex valued. So, this 1 over root t is essential. So, S n now equals 0 1 by 2 pi 2 pi pi m 4 pi pi m and minus 2 pi pi m this. So, this is S n. So, we can represent the possible points complex plane the plane. So, these look like these points look like stars in a constellation and hence these diagrams are called constellation diagrams. Hence, these diagrams are called constellation diagrams, fine. So, now let us try to simulate this in MATLAB. Let us try to look at constellations in MATLAB. So, still have relics from the image processing case here. So, close all CLC. Clear all and let us write a new script. Let us first implement PAM. So, let me call this PAM. PAM example. So, let me call this PAM example. So, let me say that L equals 1. So, 2 L minus 1 equals 1 and the constellation becomes minus 1 and 1. So, let me say that the set A equals minus 2 L plus 1 2 2 L minus 1 this will generate the set and in steps of 2 and this generates the set minus 1 1 say if I now make L equals 2 I will get minus 3 minus 1 1 and 3 L equals 3 gives me minus 5, L equals 4 gives me this, fine. So, L equals 4, we get a total of 2L points in the we get a total of 2L points in the constellation transmitting L symbols or N symbols we generate a 
we generate constellation symbols randomly add noise and receive them fine so generate constellation symbols randomly add noise and receive them how do we decode them will be the subject of the next lecture so okay, let me say n equals 1000 n equals 10000 let me generate 10000 symbols and to that let me add say id equals rand i we generate one random index to be picked up from this constellation of length 2L and this this gives me an index to be generated see generator I generate this and S equals I generate constellation symbols and let me plot these constellation symbols. Yes. Plot these constellation symbols. Ah, yes, so scatter plots won't be generated for real values. Real values, so say plus. Now this I'll make these complex. complex values it will generate automatically and run. so this is not this generates values between minus 4 and 4 and is the right plot to generate it will take some time yes so these are the points now in a this is, so this is a scatter plot this is the matlab scatter plot the other thing is now let me add noise so w equals y equals actually i should have generated a proper scatter plot this is not working because this will fill compass y it's opening just that compass plot will take some time to generate okay, the process is not being killed a simple plot y because y is complex value so you will get an idea we will still get an idea of how y looks like the only thing is that it shouldn't take this long to generate so these are the points you see minus 1 and 1 so basically now MATLAB has frozen for some reason. Let me try close all over here. So MATLAB has frozen. So maybe this is a good time to stop this lecture. And in the next lecture, we will continue to implement PAM and PSK and look at how do these systems behave in the presence of noise and uh, what can we do to extract the transmitted symbols from the received symbols. So actually, 
our aim here is to transmit information from the source or from the transmitter to the receiver, but this simul even our simulations when they are successful will only tell us what does uh, what do those received signals look like in space. They would not tell us anything about uh, receiving those symbols. So, the next big question that we have to answer is how do we receive these symbols. So, we will do that and look at an example in the next lecture. Thank you.